Hello my gorgeous cuties out there and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie and I'm just a crazy lover of makeup, fashion, and all that fun glittery stuff. So if those are things you're also into, please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. I would love to have you here. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the newest makeup releases and let you know whether I want to purchase or pass or just my overall thoughts on the releases and have some good old fun talking about makeup. So if you are interested in seeing all of that, then keep on watching. cutie pies welcome back I did not post a lot last week I'm so sorry I was not feeling very well and I just did not have the energy to film or even edit a video now I did post a little bit on Instagram because I'm just having so much fun posting reels like I didn't know how satisfying that could be to make a reel and just be able to like watch it over and over I'm so obsessed I am so late on the game but if you haven't checked me out over there I will link my Instagram pages below but I'm on there as breezy lifestyle and Breezy underscore beauty so check out my reels I'm having so much fun posting <laughs> new type of content so that was pretty much all I did last week but I am ready to get back at it I am very red today I got the red cherry lip on I'm feeling extra and I am just feeling so much better so I'm ready to talk about some makeup and let you guys know what I think now before I get into the releases Please nobody get offended if I hate something you love or I love something you hate. We all have different preferences, different likes, different desires. I like to put that out there because I've seen in other like people's releases videos, people get really upset. Now it hasn't happened in my comments yet, but I still like to put out that disclaimer because we can all be friends and we can all agree to disagree. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into these releases. I'm gonna move over here. So the pictures can pop up and you can fully see what I'm talking about. I will just go over the releases that really stuck out to me and I'll link all the like Instagrams that I use to get my info and I will link all of the releases so you can know where to find the stuff. So the first thing that I wanted to mention was this right here from She Glam. This kind of stuck out to me. I was really shocked that this was something they were releasing, but it is the Chromosome brand or collection, sorry. So there's two eyeshadow palettes, $13 each, and it looks like it has mattes and shimmers and possibly multi-chromes. That is so amazing. They have a multi-chrome highlighter for $6.50, a liquid eyeshadow for $5.50 in different shades and some gel liners that look like multi-chromes as well for $3.50. Shocking, and I love dual chromes and I love multi-chromes and this is so affordable. Now I'm hesitant to try out She Glam because they are from Shein, which is a big fast fashion website and they just come out with a lot of products, usually not the best quality. So I'm a little worried that that will be the same case with their makeup, but I'll have to watch reviews because I am intrigued. This is a fun collection. And then we have these two little mini palettes that I saw from Beauty Bakery. This is going to be exclusively for CVS and Target, so you can get this in store. But they came out with this cute little sweet potato pie palette. I love me some sweet potato pie. Like that is some of my favorite things to eat during the holidays. But it looks like a little nine pan palette with a bunch of mattes in it. $14 and then they have the what's it baking cookie crew baking cookie crew Ooh, this is kind of cool it is turquoise and reds in this one it's an interesting color story and it looks like this one does have shimmers in it so that will also be at Target and I'm assuming that's $14 each. That is so cute and I think Beauty Bakery is such a cute brand. I like love their packaging and theming with like the bakery goods. Then it looks like Juvia's Place came out with new products. So the two products is called the Eye Line Eye Define Pen and the Eye Line Eye Define Liquid Eyeliner. So they have a felt tip pen and then one of those liquid liners that you pull out and the brush is, you know what I'm saying, you pull out the brush, it's not like the tip is like a pen. Does that make any sense? I don't think I'm making any sense, but they are, I think $16 each? No, the other, the liquid eyeliner is 23 and the felt pen one is 16. 
So I'm intrigued. I am so excited. Drugo's Place has been coming out with so many different products. And I'm sure this is going to be good. It looks very pigmented in the photos. So I'm curious. I feel like I will probably pick up one of these liners when I finally pick up the holiday palettes. Because I haven't got those yet. But I wanted to have like a big order of stuff. So I could just make one order from them. Because you usually have to pay shipping from them. And I'm sure they'll have a really good Black Friday sale. They always have really good sales on their website. So I will eventually pick that up. So then this. This breaks my heart just looking at this. Why? Why? This is from iHeart Revolution. And I always... I always talk down these collections like everything that comes out from XX Revolution, iHeart Revolution, all those like sub brands are pretty much all the same but they come out with these just terrible huge collections and this time they are collaborating with Elf the movie not Elf the brand and I just hate it. I hate everything in this collection. It's a huge palette that looks very springy, very pastel doesn't make me think of the elf movie and then there's like body products there's lip glosses there's like a book collection of palettes that are like 30 bucks this is just the type of makeup that you give to someone and like before you know it it's being thrown in the trash and you forget about it or it gets push in the back corner and you never pull it out again. Why do these brands collaborate with iHeart Revolution? They're doing them wrong, okay? They're doing them a disservice. That is just my opinion. Definitely passing on that. <laughs> Don't need that in my life. It looks like Lunar Beauty also came out with a new, I think this is a face palette. It's the Outer Dimension palette. So it has a bunch of like, looks like bronzers, contours, and uh, uh, powders. So I feel like this is probably a product that's really good for a makeup artist that wants different shades to work on different clients. Now, I don't need something like this. I only have one face. There's only like few shades that could probably work for me in this palette. And I have a lot of those kind of palettes already in my collection. So I don't need something like this. But I have no doubt that Lunar Beauty will make a good quality face product. They are so good with their eyeshadows. And I've loved everything I've tried from them. So I have no doubt that this will be really good. So if you're looking for something like this, this would probably be a good brand to try. But as of right now, I'm going to pass because I don't need this. There's some new lip glosses and new brushes as well. And this is available on their website. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to come to uh, Beauty Bay or any of the sites that they sell on. But for sure, I know it's on their website already. Oh gosh, Revolution Pro. Another one of these Revolution brands did a collaboration with Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe, why? They could have collaborated with so many other classy brands, but it is what it is. There's this diamond shadow palette for $28. It looks like a quad of shadow, some lip products, some highlighters. Um, I guess it's supposed to look fancy like with the pearls and the diamonds. Now this is not the worst looking collection that I've seen. I think they did pretty decent on the packaging. Um, but this is not the brand that I would have thought to collaborate with for a Marilyn Monroe collection. Like, no. Um, I'm going to pass on this. This is very neutral, but what like a few pops of like red and fuchsia in there. And like I said, I'm just not a fan of this brand, but I think it looks decent. Then there's this powder from Besame, which you know it's going to be super expensive. This is part of their Ultimate Princess Celebration collection. This is the collaboration with Moana with Disney. I think that is really cute packaging. Now, I just hate that it's always like the same powder in there and really similar like lip products. So the set with the uh, compact and the matching lipstick is 125 and they said they only made 500 units. So it's a limited edition product. So get it while you can. I think this is really beautiful packaging, but I just can't see myself spending that much money for just a compact, which I think is a highlighter and a lip product. So yes, girl's gonna pass on that. And then it looks like ColourPop came out with an extension to the Mandalorian collection. I feel like I said that weird. Is it Mandal Mandalorian collection? 
Is that how you say it? Um, but they came out with a, another little nine pan palette, some lip glosses, a little mirror. So the palette that they brought in is called the Mandalorian palette. And it's a very taupey cool tone palette with like a little pop of mustard. Um, it reminds me of a Juvia's Place palette where they did something like this, where it has mustard and grays in it. And that palette is bomb. So if you already have that, I feel like this is like kind of capturing that essence. It's cute. I don't need it. I didn't even pick up the first one, the Child palette. Um, so I'm going to pass on this. I don't really you know, like watch Star Wars stuff like that. So um, <laughs> it doesn't really connect to me, but I'm sure people who really love The Mandalorian would probably love this and love like Star Wars, but gonna pass on that but in case you're wondering they came out with another one then a super weird collaboration is with NYX and a Netflix show so I guess Netflix is on this bang wagon with collaborating with makeup brands and it doesn't make sense but it is what it is this is the collaboration with La Casa de Papel Money Heist probably butchered that name so bad but they came out with this giant, bulky, misshapen palette. It has a smaller palette in it. It looks like a highlighter, uh, some liners, some brushes, a mirror, and some lipsticks. This is at Ulta. We're dropping soon at Ulta. It might have already dropped. Um, yes, it did already drop. This is... Wow, this is interesting. <laughs> Have you guys watched this show? I don't know anything about it. I don't know what this is about, but to me, aesthetically, this doesn't appeal to me and I also don't watch the show. So I don't plan to pick up any of these things, but I feel like this is just so weird. Like. I don't get these brands collaborating with things that have nothing to do with makeup. You know what I'm saying? Now, maybe this is a super popular show and they can make some quick cash off of it. I mean, they are a business, it's about making money. So another one that I wanted to talk about was the new collection from Ariana Grande, the REM Beauty. And I was really surprised when I saw the photos of the products. I think this is already available, but it looks very cheap. And Ariana Grande has a very chic, young, feminine vibe. So I was expecting something more. It just feels like they got really cheap packaging. They threw a bunch of products together and slapped her name on it and then said, hey, here's her new collection. And I'm just really disappointed at how this looks. I saw someone say it gave like Olme vibes and I can see that. I don't get it. It doesn't appeal to me. It's like an eyeshadow and some lipstick, some lip glosses, and they're not the most affordable products either. I think like the palettes are $25 each. So they're on the higher end of drugstore, like NYX pricing, and it doesn't seem like it's worth any of those prices. So you guys will have to let me know what you think of this collection. I was just really surprised by it. I was expecting more, I guess, because like her whole vibe and everything, it's a mood, you know, and you would hope that it would have translated into her collection. But yeah, unfortunately, that's a no for me. I don't think I'll try any of these products. So this I really wanted to mention. This is from Milan Row Makeup. They did a collaboration with Doodles by The Bunny, and she makes these beautiful like drawings of like palettes and like color stories that she comes up with. And she just, these beautiful drawings. And she made this beautiful palette with Milan Row. It's gorgeous. It's full of greens. It's just stunning. The Poison Ivy palette. This is going for $39. And this is already available on their website. So I don't know if it sold out or not. I'm assuming this might be a limited edition product. I'm not sure if they're bringing this back. Now I know nothing about Milan Row, so I don't know about their makeup, their quality, if they make good stuff. I'm assuming they might be like a smaller indie brand. I just, I've never heard of them. So you guys will have to let me know, do they make good makeup if you've tried them? But this palette is stunning. The only thing holding me back is just, I don't know anything about this brand. Oh, of course, ColourPop. They always have like a million releases. They have the new Roaring Hearts collection. I'm assuming this is part of their holiday release. And I'm guessing it's supposed to be like the Roaring 20 themed. Now this is a very like neutral brown palette. 
and the packaging everything is very muted with some goats some super shock some fresh lip products some liner to me this is not their best packaging i feel like they're usually really good at their like designs and everything but this collection doesn't give me roaring 20 vibes at all it's a very lackluster muted kind of collection and I feel like the Roaring Twenties was very sparkly, very sophisticated and sexy. And I don't get that vibe from this collection. And the packaging just looks like kind of cheap. And I'm surprised because they're usually really good at being on point with their packaging. But maybe they can't keep up because they come out with so many collections that they just like start slapping things together so they can pump out things. And I think that's unfortunate because that's what I loved about their brand was like the details that they took to put their packaging together. And I just feel like it's starting to deteriorate. Um, but this is definitely not a collection that uh, speaks to me or goes with what I'm into. So I also wanted to mention ColourPop also came out with another holiday collection. This is the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Uh, there's a palette, there's some shimmering body powder, some lip glosses, some lip liners, some luxe lipsticks, lippy scrubs. Looks like there's some bath bombs in here too, some hair clips. Now they haven't said when this is going to be available. The palette is very neutral. There's like a pop of red, a pop of green. I feel like they could have made it a little more fun, a little bit more poppy, maybe put some blue in there. Um, so this is way too neutral of a palette for me anyways, but I think this would be great for gifting. It's not something I'm going to pick up. And then Laura Lee Los Angeles came out with a new blush palette. It has eight pans in here. looks like one is like a maybe highlighter or blush topper. And then the rest are matte blushes. So this is available now, it's $28. I wish there was a little bit more variation in this because I feel like there's some repetitive shades in here and I feel like on the skin it's gonna end up translating the same. I wish there was like just some more different shades in here. Now, I've heard really good things about Laura Lee Los Angeles and the brand and her makeup and I love me a good old blush palette but I don't need any more blushes. I bought a bunch of blushes already and um, I feel like blush palettes are something I don't reach for enough to justify buying them over and over. So I'm going to pass on that. It looks like we have a new brand from Harry Styles. This is called Pleasing. What an interesting name choice. I don't know Harry Styles that well. I like his music. I don't follow him like that. But it came out with some nail polishes and some skincare. It has an illuminating serum, a pleasing pen. Hmm, that sounds very naughty, <laughs> but it's a cooling steel roller that refreshes lips and eyes. Okay, cool, cool. Um, none of this is for me. I don't need any new skincare. I don't really paint my nails like that. I think the packaging looks cool on these nail polishes though. Like really stunning packaging, very stylish. I feel like it really goes with Harry Styles. I'm sure a lot of people will be excited about this, especially people that follow him and his music. Uh, but this is coming soon to their website. So Morphe is coming out with another palette. I feel like they've been doing a lot of collaborations lately. Like back to back, they've been coming out with eyeshadow palettes and they keep coming out with huge eyeshadow palettes. Nobody is asking for this. I don't think I know one person that wants another big Morphe palette. I've seen most of the comments are like, why? Why? <laughs> but it says it is coming soon to the UK, EU, and Russia. I'm assuming this is gonna be available here in the US as well. Yes, on the 18th. And it will also be at Ulta. This is a collaboration with Pony's Makeup. And it's a very like ethereal, unicorn vibes kind of makeup collection. But it's a huge palette that has a lot of shades that look very, very repetitive. Like a lot of similar like rusty, mauvey shades in here. There's like a bunch of big pants in the center. I'm assuming they're like face products. Some are marbled. The packaging is pretty. It looks pretty. I'm sure uh, people who follow Pony's makeup, she looks like she has a very ethereal makeup aesthetics looking at her Instagram. But I mean, she has a huge following. So I'm sure a lot of people will pick this up. She uh, seems to be a very big influencer. So 
This uh, probably makes sense for her brand and what she likes, but this is just not my uh, style. So I'm gonna pass on that. Also Nomad Cosmetics is coming out with a holiday palette. This is their first time ever doing a holiday palette. And this is Home for the Holidays palette. That is really cute. It has nine shades in it. It's eight foil shimmers, one matte black. This is available on November 16th. And I would definitely pick this up. I'm a sucker for Nomad Cosmetics. I always pick up their releases. And I think this is a cute little curated like rainbow shimmer palette. And I like that they included at least one matte black because I love my smoky vibes. And I think this is gonna be really pretty. It looks really foiled and stunning and shimmery. And I love me a good metallic. So I would definitely pick this up. And I like the theming and I just love Nomad Cosmetics. And for another holiday release, Glaminatrix came out with the Silent Night eyeshadow palette. I don't think I mentioned this in my last video, but this palette is so beautiful. It has these stunning mattes, these stunning shimmers, this gorgeous, gorgeous, dual chrome, multi-chrome shade in there. And it's called Babos in the corner, that blue one. It has all these different shifts. I did already purchase this. Now from the last time I checked, they only had like a few hundred left and this is limited edition. So once it sells out, they're gonna not restock it at all. So if you like this color story and you're eyeing it out, better get it now because it will probably be gone and never come back. But it is so beautiful and Glaminatrix has a really, really nice eyeshadow formula. So I can't wait for that to come in the mail. Also looks like Alien Cosmetics. Oh, Alien Cosmetics, I'm so weak for them too. They are coming out with some liquid eyeshadows and these look like they're gonna be liquid multi-chromes. Ooh, I cannot wait to see the full reveal of these shadows. I'm sure they're gonna be beautiful like Alien Cosmetics is probably the best brand I've tried it this year. Every eyeshadow palette I've tried from them, I have fallen in love with. So I cannot wait to try these as well. So I will definitely pick up some of these liquid shadows. Then there's this palette from Clarity Cosmetics. I've never tried Clarity Cosmetics, but this palette really stood out to me. This has multi-chromes. This is like the year of multi-chromes and dual chromes, and I am so here for this. This is gonna be available Black Friday. It has 12 shades. It's called the Magic Lantern Eyeshadow Palette. And there's four shimmers, four, no, sorry, four mattes, two shimmers, three multi-chromes, one dual chrome, like, give me, give me right now. And the color story is really pretty. It's different, it's interesting, and it's very hard for brands to come out with interesting things because, you know, the market is so saturated and there's just a lot of repetitive stuff, but this looks very unique. I know nothing about Clarity Cosmetics and, I'm on the fence whether I'm gonna pick this up or not. I would love to see some reviews first, but I don't know, I might just like pull the trigger and just go for it and just say, you know what, let me try it for testing purposes, for reviewing purposes. Maybe I can justify it like that and be like, you know what, I just need to review this for people who are wondering about this formula because this is so pretty. I don't think I can pass up on that. That color story is just, so intriguing. Also, it looks like Viseart came out with these cute little quads. Now, I've been wanting to try Viseart, and I feel like this would be a good way to try the brand. They are $25 each. They're available now at Viseart. I'm not sure if this is coming to Sephora as well, but there's a green one, a like maroony one, a uh, <clears throat> blue one, and a like neutral one with a black matte. These are really cute little quads. They're on the more muted side, but they're cute. This would be a good chance to try the brand. So I'm on the fence. I'm not sure because I know I don't need any more eyeshadows, but I am curious in trying the brand. So maybe, that's a maybe. I'm not totally sure but I do think they're cute little quads. And then Kimchi and Chic came out with some new products. So they came out with some new liquid lipsticks and some new lipsticks and a new primer, the Effin Primer. Now I'm sure this is probably something that's supposed to be like more long lasting. Oh no, they have a matte version and a hydrating version. And I really like Kimchi Chic. I love the stuff I've tried from them. And I feel like she could make a good long lasting primer that helps makeup stay. Anything to help with my oily skin, I am about. So I might pick up that matte primer and I might pick up some of these lipsticks. They look absolutely gorgeous, these liquid lipsticks. 
and their uh, bullet lipsticks. And Kimchi Chic is a relatively affordable brand and it's very attainable to like get their stuff. Let, let me see what the prices are because I think all of this is available on her website now, but the lipsticks are $12 each. Looks like a good portion is sold out, but that orangey lipstick looks so beautiful. And then the liquid lipsticks are also $12. So they're very fairly priced. These look beautiful. I love the shades. I think I'll probably pick up some of the lipsticks, maybe one of the liquid lipsticks and the matte primer because I'm just, I really wanna try this. I love the shade options and the pricing is amazing. Then the last two things that I wanna mention, Muse Beauty, which is now called Kylav. Kylav, is that how you say it? Kylav Beauty is coming out with the Le, Le Jardin Volume 2 palette. This is going to be available for early access on the 16th and a regular access on the 17th. This is a limited edition product. So once they sell out, they won't be restocking, but this looks really cute. It's very springy, but it's fun and bright. And I feel like this would be a beautiful summer palette, but I just love their brand. They base their stuff on art and these like beautiful color stories are inspired by like the art that's on the photo or just different inspirations. So I think it's really cool. They teach you about art as well. So I don't know, I think I might pick this up. I don't know, do I need it? I don't need it. Okay, I'm not gonna get this. I think it's beautiful. I think it's a really cute release, um, but I don't need something like this. I have a lot of palettes that look like this in my collection. So I'm gonna talk myself out of this because I'm trying to buy less makeup. I'm trying to reel it in, but it looks cute. But I do think they make really good eyeshadows. So if you're eyeing them out, this is something you like, you probably should check it out because they make really, really nice products. And last, but certainly not least, It's Bell Cosmetics finally revealed their Dawn of Fall palette. This is so beautiful. It's smoky, vampy, colorful dual chromes and shimmers. And I want this. I love this. So it says that they're going to have a pre-order go up starting November 18th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I am for it. I am all about this. This is $45 and I love the Breaking the Rules palette. The formula was so good and I think this color story is just phenomenal. Oh, the swatches. It's so dark and vampy. So I'm definitely picking that one up. There's no way I can talk myself out of getting this palette because the color story is just a bomb. But I think that is everything that I wanted to mention for the newest releases. Let me move over. I feel like I've been filming for a while and I've talked about a lot and I try not to go over too much because then this video would be so long and I would have so much things to link in the description below. But I definitely wanted to just talk about the ones that stuck out to me and the ones that I had feels and opinions on. But you guys will have to let me know in the comments below what do you think about these releases? What are you gonna pick up? What are you gonna pass on? Are you guys gonna do some Black Friday shopping? I'm trying my best not to do too much of that because I don't need any more. I'm gonna reel it in. But I would love to hear from all of y'all in the comments below. And if you're new here and you like fashion, makeup, beauty, and all that fun stuff, please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. I would love to have you here. And don't forget to check out the description below. I have all the releases linked. I'll have other videos of mine. I'll have my makeup linked in case you're curious on what I'm wearing on my face. And I will also have my other social media platforms. You can check me out on Instagram as Breezy Lifestyle and Breezy underscore beauty. And I'm also on TikTok as Breezy underscore beauty. But thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video, for supporting me and hanging out with me for a little bit. I really appreciate it. But I do hope you guys are doing well wherever you are in the world and to send you light and love. But until next time, bye guys.